Say that you're a genius, but you're not a super genius. So you don't have a residence in the Jerusalem pyramid. So you wake up in the morning and you get your coffee and you take your kids and you go downstairs. But what do you know about the Luxor Hotel? It's really slow down, slow to go down the elevator. But fortunately, in the pyramid that we build, you're gonna be able to take the slide. So there's a slide, and you grab your kids. You say, "Let's go to let's go to school." You hop on the slide. You you all go down the slide. Everyone knows how to do the slide because the slide everyone everyone's done it a million times. There's an outside lane and an inside lane. The inside lane's for exiting, like if you want to go to a different floor. Um, the outside lane is if you want to go fast. And then there's a very outside lane, which is like the super fast lane, and that's like straight down. And so you get to the bottom. You get your kids, make sure everyone's all together. You get on the train, you're going to Jerusalem. And when you get to Jerusalem, which is this pyramid that has this city with glass roads and crystal streets. And when I say crystal streets, what does that mean? It means it has granite streets, basically. Um, hopefully white granite. Um, and then hopefully the walls will have a lot of granite too. I want it to be kind of like, it, the, it's a crystal city but it's not, it can have stone and stuff like that too. I want it to have incredible eclectic architecture, but I want it to almost look old, like it's, it's just one sculpture, kind of like the old city of Jerusalem. All right, so you're on the train with your kids. You don't know where to go. Oh wait, yeah, you do, because there's only one stop when you go to Jerusalem. And where is that one stop? It's the toy store. So you, get, you, 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 you take the train, it stops, it stops at the toy store. What else is at the toy store? It's, it's the daycare and the school. So um, Jerusalem is a, a mile, is, is, well, it's, it might not be a mile by mile. We don't know what size it's gonna be, but Jerusalem's really big. So we can't make the whole thing out of granite, even though theoretically, I guess we could. But uh, well, I'm not talking about the whole, like actual granite. I'm talking about like plated granite. Like I'm talking about building it out of wood and steel and then having like layers of granite so it's not actually all granite. And I'm talking about concrete also with granite on top. All right, so you get off and there's the school. The school, it's really cool looking. There are trampolines and uh, and like it's, it's like a kid's fun area. It's like a magical kid's area. Kind of like what I was talking about, how I want to take over Treasure Island Casino because I hate that casino. It's like my least favorite casino in that area. That's such a great casino area. You got the Palazzo, the Venetian, the Bellagio. You have uh, Wynn. You have Encore. You have Trump Hotel right there. You have Caesar's Palace, which is like this magnificent, magnificent piece of architecture. And then right in the middle of it is Treasure Island, this piece of shit casino that could be for kids and it could be fun. So the entire hotel, theoretically, uh, say that we have a lot of pyramids someday and everywhere outside the strip is made of pyramids that are making concentrated solar energy, but then there's still the Las Vegas Strip and everyone wants to be able to send their kids somewhere, we'll send them all to Treasure Island Hotel. It'll be a giant pirate palace. It, it would be so much fun. Um, all right, so, I don't actually know if I'm going to buy Treasure Island someday, but I think it'd be awesome. I would like to turn the Excalibur Hotel into a magical, like medieval times fighting arena also. But I feel like um, Las Vegas makes a lot of money off gambling and there's no way that you can turn some, some of these places into um, kids places, even though you want them to. All right. So you're on this train. And what's underneath the train? You know, normally there are like rocks underneath, right? Like a, a regular train. Well, this has glass beads. So it's got glass beads underneath the train. It's like a, a valley. And then it's filled with glass beads. And then there's the train tracks over it. And when the steam is going, the glass beads glow. Because the whole idea is we're going to make steam happen, which desalinates the water. And while the steam is cooling, we're going to do stuff with it. So it's going through the pipe. The pipe is super hot. Sweet, I can cook on it because it's, it's gonna heat my stove. The stove is always hot while steam's going through. And while the steam is cool, because once it cools, it turns to water and then it's desalinated. So, but while it's steam, we can use it. And so the idea is um, 
sub, uh, to subsidize some, a lot of that electricity with steam. Okay, so you're on the glowing tracks, you get to the school, and you drop off your kids, and then you go to work in a skyscraper that is in the middle of a pyramid, but I feel like a lot of the um, areas in the middle of the pyramids are gonna be built out of wood, um, but in concrete, and like maybe the base will be steel, like it'll be like four floors of steel and concrete, and then maybe it starts turning into wood. I'm not sure the engineers can figure that out. Okay, so um, Jerusalem could be really fun because I um, want to build a lot of the cities based on Jerusalem because someday everyone's going to be like, that's the old Jerusalem. The, and, and the, the best Jerusalem is like this, this um, the pyramid that we built that was number 3000 or it was like a special anniversary pyramid. Um, cause, but let's face it. I'm not an expert. I might be wrong, but what I'm not wrong about is that we need to fill up Lake Mead. And that's why the LA water department is talking about moving fresh water upstream stream. I'm talking about moving salt water downstream, having that, that water preheated because it's in death Valley. Anyways, it's going to be super hot. We have black bottom like I'm talking about pretty big projects for, for building, um, what, what, what would it be called? Like it's almost like an air irrigation ditch, but it's just, it's like a, it's a preheating place for the water before it gets turned into steam with the sun. And, but, um, more than anything, it's, it's this idea that, um, we can have a power plant that's a part of our city. Like it's built into our city. And by doing that, uh, we can live super efficiently. So that's the dream. I want to build it all the way to Los Angeles. I want to build a seven mile by seven mile walking city in Los Angeles that doesn't allow um, cars at all. Like it would allow horses and it would have a giant Tupac Buddha because I'm all about idolatry. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I want to, <laughs> I want to bring back paganism because I think it'd be so much fun having some of these pagan festivals. And I want a giant Tupac Buddha in the middle of Wakanda because I, I want to build like a futuristic walking city in Los Angeles that doesn't allow cars. Um, and I want to build it in Compton and I want to build it tall. And I kind of want the train from Las Vegas to connect all the way to Los Angeles. Cause I feel like a lot of people don't want to have to be inside all the time because even though being inside would be fun, because like I said, I'm making, I'm planning on making Jerusalem awesome. I'm planning on building a staircase to heaven. It's going to be a giant clear tube that's super tall that has uh, white steps all around it. So it looks like the steps are floating in air, but really they're connected to a, a, a clear uh, plastic tube that's like super thick. And that, su that tube is actually going to be used for skydiving. So if you're at the top of the pyramid and you want to get to the bottom of the pyramid fast and you really enjoy that sort of thing, you put on your gear, you skydive to the bottom and it's like indoor skydiving. The air is being pushed up but then there are holes in the tube higher up. So like, as you go down the air, like will be pushed out of the tube through the holes because I, I think you might get them. I think, I, I think we have to do it that way. I, I don't know who gets to go first. <laughs> Who's going to test it? Not me. So, um, I'm planning on having indoor skydiving. So it's going to be fun inside, but everyone wants to be able to go outside. And that's why it'd be nice if we could connect the train all the way to Los Angeles so that people can take Los Angeles trips. But I also want to build, um, a city in Los Angeles that's straight up for walking. It's like Jerusalem, but it's Wakanda and it has a giant Tupac Buddha and on Tupac's shoulder, ha there's one shoulder is Whitney Houston and she's an angel and the other is me. No, I don't know who else could be on, on, on his shoulder. I, I think I'd like to be the devil on, on Tupac's shoulder, but, um, yeah. So, um, oh gosh, did I just make an idol where I'm part of it? Yeah. What? Oh gosh. That's uncomfortable. Anyways, so vote for me. I will, I, will, I will keep coming up with really awesome ideas, and my ideas will be beautiful.